The Karabai Emergency Situation Service said three bodies of fallen servicemen were found and retrieved from the southeastern sector of the modern region of Artsakh, Nagorno-Karabakh, that are now under the control of Azerbaijan. Since November 13, 2020, a total of 1,502 bodies have been found in the territories that are no longer under the jurisdiction of Artsakh. Meanwhile, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu told Tangrid News that Nagorno-Karabakh is a uniquely very complicated operation. Speaking about the relations between Russia and Turkey, he noted that, I may quote, We have a very difficult, very complicated, but very constructive work. The last work, without a doubt, is Nagorno-Karabakh. It's a uniquely very complicated operation. I would like to call it that, not in other way, because it contained a huge number of arguments, elements, motives. The European Parliament has strongly condemned the use of Syrian mercenaries in the conflicts in Libya and Nagorno-Karabakh and in violation of international law. In a resolution on the Syrian conflict, the European Parliament also calls on Turkey to withdraw its troops from northern Syria, which it is illegally occupying outside of any UN mandate. It urges that all Syrian detainees who have been transferred to Turkey be immediately repatriated to the occupied territories in Syria. The ambassador of France to Armenia, Jonathan Lacote, held a press conference on Wednesday during which he answered also the question about the Armenian POWs and detainees held in Azerbaijan. My approach is simple. All captives must be released, he said. He also noted that the OSC Minsk Group is the only internationally recognized format within the framework of which the search for ways to resolve the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is carried out through diplomacy. He added that France regrets that UNESCO has not conducted a study in Karabakh yet. UNESCO has repeatedly petitioned to the Azerbaijani authorities for the right to enter the Artsakh territories now under its control, but so far in vain. Also, Jonathan Lacote stressed that cultural heritage will be at the focus of Armenian-French cooperation. As of Wednesday morning, 854 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia and the total number of these cases has now reached 180,141 in the country. Also, five more deaths from COVID-19 were registered, making the respective total 3,282 cases. Two more cases of coronavirus patients dying from some other illnesses were recorded in Armenia in the past one day, and the corresponding overall death toll in the country is 841 now. The number of people who have recovered over the past one day is 211, and the total respective number so far is 166,913. Gazprom will temporarily supply natural gas to Armenia via Azerbaijan and due to the repair of the North Caucasus Transcaucasian natural gas pipeline. Gazprom on Tuesday signed a short-term contract with the state oil company of Azerbaijan for the transportation of natural gas through the territory of Azerbaijan. The repair works will take about three weeks. More than 30 U.S. Congress members have introduced a legislation demanding Azerbaijan's immediate release of Armenian POWs. They called on Azerbaijan to immediately release over 200 Armenian prisoners of war and capture civilians illegally kept hostages over 100 days after the November 9th ceasefire statement between Azerbaijan and Armenia. Azerbaijan has destroyed the Armenian Green Church in Shushi Arsa. Turkologist Borujan Gehamyan posted on his Facebook page photos, noting that after occupying Shushi, Azerbaijan has started destroying everything that is Armenian. If the incumbent and ignorant authorities of Armenia stay in power, this will also happen in Sunik and Davush provinces, he added.